This very night, like any other night, little orphan girl Tiffany lost her parents in an epidemic, then was forced to be drove into a carriage, well, forced to be taken to an orphanage. And on her way there, she feels that she'll be treated badly by the or by the great by the aunt Auntie, Auntie McCann, Auntie Americana. A very nasty. A very nasty woman indeed. For then, these three robbers came. Dominic used his blunder stick. Oh, wait, sorry. First, Felix. First, Dominic threatened the passenger. Then, Felix uses pepper blower to blind the horses. And Maximus has a huge red axe and chops the carriage wheel as they were looking for a treasure in there. Unfortunately, they only found Tiffany threw her out. Then Tiffany said, come on guys, kidnap me, please. She was tricking them. And so, this is also called Trick or Treater, a movie that is based on a book that I love called The Three Robbers by Tommy Unger Ging Ging. It was turned to an anime movie of the mid 207s. I'll continue now. So, she did a trick on them saying that she is from a famous country in India that has a father who's a Raja and if you guys kidnap me then you can get money and they fall for it. But Maximan no not really liking Tiffany. So they ended up taking her with them and she slept on their bed as they slept on the floor. Which they didn't like. But hey, two guys were being nice. Maximum didn't really like the child. During a time Aunt and Aunt Americana was upset that new orphan new orphan didn't come. But then again, she made all orphans go into the beet garden and gather beets for who knows what. We'll find out that later on. Two little boys wanted to escape it. But then later on, found the secret why of what she's using the beets for. As we see her go to the tower, she locks the door. But we see sweets in there. And she enjoys them. She makes them, make, she makes them use the beets and make them into sweets. I say that's where the sweets came from. And again, they tried a little bit of what was what was what was, what was they make in the factory, and it was delicious. And they got caught, almost got in trouble. And then meanwhile, back to the little girl, she woke up and went exploring around their home, found a lot of dank web and spiders, and then spider bats, and all sorts of creepy things. <laughs> in any case, but then in the end, she found some paint, started redecorating the place. And after that, she made coffee for them and got them apples, which was very sweet, I might add, which is quite adorable, really. In any case, as soon as they woke up, they wanted to know how rich is he, and they asked, and she tried to pretend to tell them something about her father. Um, he has a humongous castle with three rooms full of gold and comfortable beds where you can sleep on forever, but they want to know how they can get to him. They write a letter, but they don't know how to write. Only Tiffany knew how to write. So she tricked them into writing, and the two, as in Dominic, which I think has a stronger bond with the child Tiffany, and goes to deliver the letter. And one moment we just see a red unicorn in there. Hi, Columba, that's weird. And meanwhile, the policeman who left Tiffany alone with the nasty coachman was figuring out, was trying to find out missing Tiffany. In the end, the poster, wanted poster, ended up on a tree and fell, though. And then, the little girl Tiffany found the, found the money and gold, and they asked, what were you going to do with the money? And they answered, they didn't know. Well, what if you send them to the orphanage and use it for good? They thought about that. Then they, want, then they decided to have some fun. With their music and instruments, though. Dominic used his bumble stick as an instrument. Well, actually, let, <laughs> let little Tiffany use it only once, though. They had instruments in there. It doesn't there at all to mention. But then, sadly, the day happened. But before then, the two boys were able to run away. But then little Tiffany was found out, and she was told to leave. 
You can't lie to us like that, Tiffany. That is wrong of you to do that. And the two men were very sad what they did when they found out. They didn't want her to go, but Maximilian was upset. So she left. With her little doll and gone off. Then in the dark woods, she meets the two boys. And the two boys tell them how Auntie, and Auntie can be just a mean, nasty tightwad. And she said, I have a piece of gold. If we could buy new orphanage, then we can free them. And the boys loved the plan. But at first, they had to fight them off. So, in the end, the three worked together. Oh, yes. The two other boys were the boys who escaped. Their names were Gregory and Nikolai. So they went in, sneaked in, to find the cake place. And then, without Auntie realizing it, she was down there torturing the other orphans. And then, cakes and poop! Cakes and cookies and pies flying out of there. And then the kids, the kids started throwing candies and sweets at each other. Even the coachman was starting to have fun. They brought them all over around them. But then, when she was caught by the evil auntie, then the three robbers came back. They wanted to adopt Tiffany and bring her back. And they wanted to face their old auntie. Yes, these three men, these robbers, were orphans. They used to live with, with auntie. But they hated her as much as Tiffany and the boys do. In the end, they were able to come and face their fears and get back Tiffany, which they did. And unfortunately, Auntie goes psycho nuts and enter and kills herself by, um, well, throwing herself in the baker stuff, and then she ended up turning to a cake. And, ugh, that was very deemed dark. She killed herself by turning herself into a cake? That's just disgusting. And in the end, they enjoyed her. And the police asked, where is Auntie? And she went bye-bye, as they said, And but who could take care of the kids? So they decided to use the money they have and bought it. Then, slowly and surely, the home was turned to a little place for orphans. Through the years, children were... Ch people who heard about the orphanage, about it, decided to drop up their babies there. Abandoned children, and they were taken in by their three uncles. The robbers were known as the three, as their, as uncles to the children. And Tiffany and Nikolai actually got married. You know, Nikolai, the boy that likes to put the finger in his nose. They ended up having three children. And in their, t in their little home, they wore little red hats and red cloaks. Not the same colors as their uncles. But hey, this movie was colorful. And granted, it showed... How Halloween Trick or Treat came into it. Dressing up in a weird costume, that's the Robert. Doing tricks, that's definitely part of Halloween. And of course, candy and sweets and having fun with kids. That's the meaning of Halloween. Of course, for that. Now then. The book was adapted for full length anime featured by Hilo Fichte, least in 2007, as I said earlier. It is known as Dajer Alamada. This was adapted in a French version called Lise Tolle Blegen, and the English one is called Trick or Treater, which removed the original narrative of Tommy Unguyon, cut it out, some of the movie original sword and said the sword shoehorn it into Halloween theme with the new end narrator. Yeah, it should, it did horn it in. But in the end, they were successful. The film received a second prize for an anime feature film or video of Adult Julia Prize at Chicago International Children Film Festival of 2007. Now, when I first heard about it, it was last year. I was able to buy it. Actually, my dad was able to help me buy it. He's a wonderful father. 2008 and 2009 was awarded first prize for, for audience award for the film festival in Hamburg, or Germany. Paris, Bordeaux, and Six Polien, Spain, Belgium, Romina, and Toyota. It revealed an audience award for the NFC International Anime Film Festival, as I said already. Trick or Treat DVD was released on September 6, 2016. So yeah. When I first found it, it was a different country speaking. But now, I say, it's a good movie. So, I ask you folks, enjoy it. Go watch it! It's on YouTube, and it's awesome. And the book? I've actually read the book based on it, actually. So enjoy, guys, and... Have a Halloween. <laughs> okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, 
more to meet a white bow. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee.